Scrivener documents already have some metadata associated with them. Metadata is any data which isn't part of the main document text, but gives you information about the document, such as a title, a synopsis, or the labels and statuses you can apply to documents. These are all available in Scrivener by default, but if you want to keep track of more information, that's where custom metadata comes in. Scrivener allows you to create custom fields or checkboxes to be associated with your project documents. Let's take a look at an example. In this project, I'm collecting a bunch of tabletop game reviews. I want to keep track of the following for each review. An overall star rating out of five stars, whether the review is complete or not, the publication date of the review, the publisher of the game, and the type of game, whether it's a board game with pieces, cards, dice, a role-playing game, and so forth. To keep track of each piece of information, I can set up a custom metadata field. First, we go to Project, Project Settings, and choose Custom Metadata from the list. Clicking the plus at the top here will add a new field, and the drop-down list below allows us to choose the type, either text, checkbox, list, or date. Since there are only five possible outcomes for my star rating, I'll choose list and create a list from which I can select a star rating instead of entering it by hand each time. To add a list item, I can click the plus icon here, then go to edit, emoji and symbols, and search for an appropriate star symbol. Copying and pasting it from this field, I can create four more list items and paste in an extra star each time until I have five items ranging from one star to five stars. The field above will allow you to enter a none option, which I'll change to not yet rated. This can also be left blank if you prefer. Now I'll click the plus icon to create another item of custom metadata, this time setting the type to checkbox. I'll label this complete and we'll use this to keep track of whether the review is finished. Our next item of custom metadata will be a date type, which we'll name publication date. I can change the date format using this drop down list. The next metadata item will be a list for the type of game. I'll just add board game and cards for now, but we could add as many categories as we want later. Finally, we'll add a text field for the publisher's name, since it's probably easier to type this than to list every possible game's publisher. Now we'll click OK, and all these fields have been added to this project. We can now choose a document from the binder and open the metadata pane in the inspector. I'll collapse the general metadata and keywords using the arrows here, and open up custom metadata to see the fields I've just added. From here, I can select a rating out of five stars, check the box if this review is complete, add a publication date or leave it blank, select the type of game, and enter the publisher's name here. If we switch to the outliner view and select our folder of reviews, we can add all these fields as columns by clicking this arrow here, then checking the boxes for our custom fields. These will now appear as columns in the outliner, and I can see all this information for my reviews at a glance. So, as you can see, it's possible to tailor custom metadata to suit the subject of your project, and help you keep track of whatever aspects of your project you want to keep an eye on. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you're interested in learning more about Scrivener, our other video tutorials should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching and happy writing.